First of all, my name is Linda Lou Classens. I live on Walpole Island First Nation. I work at Keshwanon First Nation Public Library. Keshwanon means place where the waters divide since we are a whole series of about at least five islands on the largest freshwater deltas in the world. What I love about my job is actually the people. I love invited, inviting people into our environment, into our home. Libraries have always been so representative of, of a place of meeting and learning new things. And just exciting things have always happened in the library, like creative things, interesting things. And I think I carry that same sort of um, belief about libraries into my management of this library. Our library where it stands today, as mentioned, is on the site of our former uh, school. The first library in Walpole that I recall and what people talk about is was located in our very first housing project. So I remember going there when I was about 11 and 12 years old and getting my first um, you know, library card. And that's where I used to go use the books such as we had back then. You have to understand they were all donated books. But since I love to read, I would just pick up a book and read. Walpole Island First Nation is that it was the very first reserve in Canada to kick out the Indian agent. And that was an exciting time. I wish I was was older at the time so I could really understand the whole um, political situation, things that were going on around the globe. Because that's in the early 60s when uh, great change was happening around the world. There was young people were rising up against the establishment. It's so exciting to have kids come in. And then when we see them out in the community, we're like, I know you. We saw you at the library. You read us this book. Uh, so it's those kinds of things where we're trying to create a building, building a community of readers and, and people who carry our stories and get excited about books and literacy and education. We are under the Department of Lifelong Learning here in Walpole. I believe we should keep learning all our life and share that philosophy with others. Post COVID-19 was still, there's been a lot of rebuilding going on. I'm happy to say that um, through the rebuilding, it's, although it's been slow, we're getting our people back. We're getting new visitors coming in. The programming we used to have is being, um, brought back new developments. Um, we rely very, very much on networking and creating partnerships. That's critical to our success back then and now. When I first started, one of my first tasks was to build an addition, which I'm sitting in. Um, and it was partially uh, a vision I had of creating an artistic community here where we could do anything together, anything that impacts literacy. Community joy is a concept that is so critical to our people, I feel, because we've come through so much through since, um, since colonization was imposed upon us. Um, I think that we became uh, very flexible, adaptable, strong. And I think that community joy has arisen out of that. Um, when I think about community joy, I, I think about how during times of sadness, such as perhaps a death in the community, how our community comes together and it's, it's, it's a feast. It's a feast of, of all kinds of foods that um, traditional and not traditional, but community comes out and they they bring their food offerings. They they share what we have. And I think when I think of community joy, I think 
a lot of my community joy in terms of food arises from corn soup and either fry bread or oven bread. I want other libraries, other people to know that we're available and that we want you to reach out and ask us to be part of your, your team in whatever way you need us to. Now, mind you, because we wear so many hats, dun, 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 we have to sometimes regulate what we're doing and or, or specialize. Give us a call. If we can't help you, we can connect you with someone else who will. I want to know that, um, let the world know out there that we rely very strongly on our First Nation uh, consultants such as Dina and Nancy and those sorts of networks to, to help us grow. They give us opportunities, they promote us, they support us, and that we're a growing, a viable, uh, I would say, living resource. We're all in this together. We're a living resource. We're sharing what's back then. In the past, we're sharing the current, present, future that's going on. Whatever comes after 2023, our library and hopefully all the First Station libraries will keep growing and growing and growing like an arrow that's been shot and it's going off over there that we're always going to have new goals. There's always going to be new objectives. There's always going to be growth and we want you to be part of it. And we really appreciate your support.